Welcome back, Stallions. And again, with the news with your host, Odette. And me, Nathan. And starting it off with the weather. So, me and Katie, take it away. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the weather. Starting off with Monday's weather, it was a high of 672 with a low of 46. Tuesday will be sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 47. And Wednesday will be sunny as well with a high of 74 and a low of 49. Katie? Thursday, the highest will be at 80 and the, high, um, the lowest is going to be at 50. Friday, the highest will be at 77 and the lowest it will be at 40. Forty-nine. <laughs> Saturday, will the highs will be at sixty-seven and the lows will be at forty-seven. Seems to me that the weather is getting warmer, right? Yeah. So stay clear of wearing thick sweaters and stay hydrated. That's what it's for us, Katie. Anything yeah. you add on? Anyways, back to the house. And with that, the hot weather's coming in, right? So make sure to stay clear of all the sun. Yeah, but for Valentine, you know, gotta stay warm and cozy because I'm gonna be with um. My Valentine, Luis Salas and Isaac Diaz. I love them. And Adrian Reynoso. Oh, sorry guys. I'm, I'm in love with them. People can dream. But besides that, on to uh, sports. Hi, Hi guys. guys. I'm Edwin. And I'm Merlene. Back with sports news. The Araby boys soccer team have become league champs. They're off to playoffs. We will give you more info about playoff games soon. Also, February 12th, it is a 57th Super Bowl, which is Chiefs against the Eagles. Don't miss out. Now back to the host. And thank you for that, for the sports, and congrats to the boys soccer team for making it to the playoffs. And okay. the Super Bowl, it's, who is it again against? The Eagles and... and uh, Marlene. Chiefs. 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 We go for Eagles. I Eagles don't, I, I'm not there. football, but we go Eagles. And now we're off to, is it student? Or is student it? interview. Student. My name is Ibrahim Abedin, and I'm back with student interviews, and today I'm here with the senior. Uh, Nari Duran. When were you first introduced to drawing and animation? I was first introduced to it in the theaters and the movies. My mom usually takes me to see movies back when I was a little kid. It could be either animated. Sometimes we went to see Disney movies like Big Hero 6 or the old ones like Princess and the Frog. And that's when I was first introduced to it. Sometimes it would be like in Telemundo, like in the normal TV channels where they stream free movies on Saturdays and Sundays. All right. What is your favorite part of drawing or animation? My favorite part is creating the outline and an idea. Later on, it will be the coloring and rendering. That's one of my most favorite parts is choosing the colors to draw. If you could design a video game, what would it be about? I think I would like to make it about horror and fantasy. It's one of my most interesting topics about art. Um, I'll probably make it about uh, apostolic. Um, and yeah. What do you hope to pursue with your skills in the future? I hope to pursue a career of game art and making animations, maybe making like TV shows or video games or animating movies. That's cool. What advice would you give to anyone wanting to better their drawing? Uh, for anyone who wants to better their drawings, please learn like anatomy will definitely help in your art. Also, drawing from realism will also help. Uh, experimenting with different types of art styles and art coloring will definitely help too. All right, thank you. This is ARB News. Back to the host. And thank you, Natalie, for telling us what inspired you, as such as anime and film, which yeah. is a great form of art, really. Art is really a good choice to start with, especially if you're going to like the movie industry, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Or just an artist of any type. Honestly, the art field is like has a A wide variety. I can't say the right variety. Say variety. I'm sorry. I have. I get tongue tied. But yes, it's just. It's a great thing because I want to go into the film industry so, I can get her perspective. If you need any that. art tips, go to me or Natalie. And that's about it. For us. Tips go for me, and that's off to, teacher interview. Right? We're off to teacher. Yeah, teacher. 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 This is a staff interview with Kelsey Johnson. Hello, my name is Mr. Torres. I'm the Apex and Recovery um, Credit teacher. Uh, traveling. I try to travel as soon as the summer begins. I try to travel one place that I've never been before. So just going out of the country. What's the typical Saturday? <laughs> um, this semester different. I now teach Saturday school, so I spend most at home trying to recover from either a big run with my SRLA kids and um, just watching movies and ordering food and carb loading for my runs. Advice I would give students, I would say enjoy your high school, like really take advantage of this. Four years go by really quick. Make the best of it, do your best, 
and know, know that this chapter is going to go really quick because after that is college and adulthood are going to reflect how fast it was growing up and responsibilities get bigger and bigger as adults so take advantage of being a student because not every time in your life you're a student especially a high school student back to the host and thank you for that uh, staff interview or teacher interview with Mr. Torres. And thank you for what you do here and being active because being active now is a great lifestyle. Really Please, um, if you want to go see Mr. Torres, he's always around, especially Saturday school with Apex. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. have that, get Good. out of there. Please, just get out of there. But now we're off to... Cheese Man. It's Sarah and the Maddies once again. And we're going to be talking about some more Cheese Man, of course. Um, she's gonna cover most of it because it's sports related and <laughs> I'm just not that girl. So, this is a little bit of OT. It's not really that popping, but you know, some people do know Mr. Tom Brady himself, you know, star quarterback of the Buccaneers. He used to be for the New England Patriots. You know, little son, son, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, So, basically, about a year ago, he had announced that he was retiring after the Super Bowl that had happened last year. Blah, blah, blah. He was retiring to be with his family, all happy. Literally lasted like 30 to 40 days, and then he was like, psych, I lied. And he said he wasn't retiring, and he was back with the Bucks to win a Super Bowl championship with them. And everybody was like, that's crazy. He's the GOAT, blah, 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 blah. Another championship ring. He has like six or seven already. Doing too much. So he plays a couple games, blah, blah, blah. And then the problems start happening. His wife, Giselle, a supermodel, um, she starts saying, like, it's either football or the family. Because apparently he was being like way more interested in football he was like not having time for his family and she just thought it was enough like he has a lot of rings now he's old he's like 42 i think maybe older like he needs to cut it he needs to know when to quit and she was trying to tell him that and he was like nah shoddy <laughs> so she told him that and he chose football over his family he continued to play all that and then a couple weeks ago the bucks lost so they're not they don't have a super bowl title anymore Embarrassing. Imagine like giving up a game for your family just to lose. No, giving your family up for the game. game. Right. Mm -mm. So that's embarrassing. And then he, uh, he announced finally that he was retiring. Let's see how long that'll last. I give it 20 days. No, I give it. Let me let me be a little great like gracious and give it 50 days. Get a hobby, sir. <laughs> please. Like learn to like knit or something. Like please, Hi. you can live a domestic life. Like you do not even. If you want to play catch the bag, get a dog, do it with yeah. your kids. Like, but anyways, he said he was retiring. He posted a whole video on Instagram. And this is where Miss Giselle did what had to be done. She commented under his post, like, wishing you the best in this next stage of your life, period. We love a mature queen. She did what had to be done. She said, divorce, living my single life with my kids without no athlete. So that's just a tea. She did what had to be done. Tom Brady gave up football for his family just to not win. So that's our new 40 year old bachelor, I guess. If y'all want him, he's up for grabs. Um, yeah, because no one's fighting you, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Keep up. Tom, he's yours. Yeah, he, that was really embarrassing. I don't know this man, um, but I heard that's embarrassing. I'm sorry. But Slay from his girl. Still has to be done. Yeah. But that's often the cheese man, so back to our hosts. Thank you for that cheese man. Oh, and um, for Tom Brady, bro took a huge loss. Now going to the Super Bowl and losing his entire family, basically. Sometimes retirement might be a better option. For real, but um, th doesn't he have a new girlfriend or something? It's allegedly. He has a new girlfriend, apparently. At least something good came out of it. He, he still has all the money in the world. It doesn't really matter for him, but if I see him again in the next Super Bowl, oh, God, the chances. Best of luck, I guess. Go Eagles. This, this Definitely, year, right, go Eagles. Right? And now we're off to... Fun facts. Right? Fun facts, right? Yes. Yeah. Welcome back, Stallions, to another segment of Random Facts. And for today's segment, we'll be bringing you a bunch of random facts. Uh, did you know that the human heart creates enough pressure to squirt blood up to 30 feet away, and that if snakes are born with two heads, they often fight over the same food? And after painting the famous portrait of, of the Mona Lisa between 1503 and 1506, Da Vinci seemed to have brought it to France instead of giving it to the patriot or the subject. The latter of whom is widely believed to be Lisa de of Yocando, the wife of Francis del Yocando, a Florin oh. foreign. It's foreign. It's not foreign. Florentine merchant. And that's all. 
That's all for interesting facts. Now back to the host. Thank you for all those random fun facts, yep. Lily and Luis. And the fact that the two-headed snake will fight for over the same food. I don't know how that works. It kind of weird. Wait, does that mean each thing has its own brain, or it's like? Yeah, their body's connected. They just have a different brain. Then, okay, I guess that works, mm -hmm. right? And that proves that the heart is like the strongest muscle in the body. Mm -hmm. And now we're off to the fact that the government does not want you to know. Good afternoon, Airby students. It's Chelsea. <laughs> and Isaac here. <laughs> and we're back with another thing that the government doesn't want you to know. Today we're going to talk about the Chinese spy, um, Chinese spy balloon. According to a senior U.S. defense official, Chinese balloons have crossed over the U.S. at least three times during the Trump administration and at least one other time earlier in the Biden administration. U.S. officials say it's still not clear what the Chinese motive was. The U.S. believes Chinese satellites have acquired the same or very similar information, though the use of satellites. China has been using balloons to surveil numerous other countries in recent years, which is somewhat puzzling to U.S. officials. China, which has claimed this was a weather balloon that veered off course, criticized the U.S. response. The U.S. use of force is a clear overreaction and serious violation of international practice. Um, China's foreign ministry said in statement. So that's it for this week for you guys. Don't forget to be safe and to be aware. Back to you, Odette and Samantha. It's me. It's, just it's, it's okay. Well, we're gonna redo that. Okay? No. It's back to me. It's back to Nathan. Back to Nathan and Odette. Back to Nathan and Odette. And thank you guys for that facts that the government doesn't want you to know. And the Chinese balloon spying on us. Wow. Is that the first time? Apparently in, during Donald Trump's run, there was three other spy balloons that came in our atmosphere. I don't... I don't uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing? Well, yeah, true, Not but... Not only that, TikTok also is like produced from China, so it might have all the information. I, okay, but, um, but apparently China is supposed to make peaceful relations with us. I don't know how that's going to work, but after this incident, it might start some conflict, but let's hope it does not resolve to that. Therefore, we're now we're off to the just announcements, right? Yeah, just announcements. Starting off with Monday it's for Spirit what's your Week. Status. Spirit Week. Yeah, Spirit Week. Monday would be what's your status? Mm -hmm. And for that, those the colors: white is single, pink, pink is, is taken, and purple is complicated. Mm -hmm. And then for Tuesday is spread the love, which basically means wear anything that's Valentine's attire, hearts, pink. You know, just colors like that. And Wednesday would be Mean Girls, so make sure to wear pink. Wear pink. And Thursday is. Matching day, so just match up with someone, or it could be more than two, right? Because like, there'd mm -hmm. be triplets. Yeah, and stuff. matching. Because you're still, still matching with people, so mm -hmm. yeah. And Friday would be early dismissal, so pajama day. Mm -hmm. And then also for a bunch of love, it's ha it has it has been moved to the gym, still same time, four to five thirty, on next week on Thursday, which is the sixteenth, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sixteenth. Six, and then also. Oh, right. Um, leadership will be selling Valentine's grants for a dollar. Make sure to check with your advisories mm -hmm. for that. And Wait, that's it for us. We'll, we'll be selling during We'll be selling, selling during lunch. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for... Oh, y'all recording? No. And leadership with that. Cheer would also be selling different variations of Valentine's grants mm -hmm. during lunch as well. With different prices and everything. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it for this week. So yeah. thank you guys for tuning in with us and we'll catch you next, next week. week. Hi guys, welcome to Art. As you can see over here, when you walk in, here's a table with a sign-in sheet. After signing in, you're able to get a snack and a drink. And then you can join whatever club you want. As you can see over here, these are the Martian Crew Club. And here are the members. Can you guys talk a little bit about your club? What's, when is it? At what time does it start? Okay, thank you for that valuable information. <laughs> and right here is the cheer squad. Catalina, can you talk about the cheer squad? What time does it start from what day to what day? Okay. Um, two practice starts from 3.40 to 6 p.m. every day after the school, except on Wednesdays. Thank you! Okay, now let's move on to the other club. <laughs> right here, if you go down this hallway, you can see the basketball team. Whoa! 
Where is it? In this room is the basketball team where they do their office hours. Here is the basketball team and they got their first win last week actually. And Gary! Woo! Senior night winners! Yeah. They did really good. Yeah. Moving on. No. And right here outside is the DIY club that is usually inside of a room, but for some reason it's outside right now. Here is the DIY club. Can you guys tell us about what you guys do here? What time do you guys Yeah, so we meet every Monday and Wednesday from 4 to 6. And today we're doing tie-dye t-shirts today. Um, tie-dye, buckets. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> but today we're doing, we're doing it outside because I don't want to make the room a mess. So yeah. yeah, and then these are two of the boys, Ronald and Diego. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So we meet in room 104. So make sure to check them out. And for now, that is all the clubs they have today. But every day they have new clubs with new stuff to do. So make sure to check them out.